the Zebra Herd, welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Today, we are making our way over to World 7, the second to last world before we hopefully save Princess Peach. It is marrying Q Clouds. Now, the cloud worlds are usually a lot more difficult than your average world, and it looks like maybe we've done in Boom Boom for good. Kamek himself was waiting on that tower, and of course, our last castle here has Ludwig Koopa on it, so we're gonna have to be worried about that. But for right now, all we have to worry about is marrying Goo Cloud 1's land of flying blocks. And hope everything turns out okay. Like I said before, I'm a little bit worried because the the cloud worlds usually just have a pretty bad rap of being really tough. So we'll give this a shot, we'll see what ends up happening, and hopefully everything turns out okay. But let's get to it. So there's a lot of squirrels all over the place. It's actually bringing me weird flashbacks of some Super Mario World levels where there's a lot of flying Koopas running around. But everything's moving towards us right now. Like it's weird, this is not an auto-scrolling level. Instead, all of like the elements of the level are scrolling towards us. Very cool so far, actually, I like it. Whoa, hold on, hold on. So where is this first star coin gonna be? I'm sure it's gonna be somewhere nearby. What is that? That is a spring that I would probably need to use. Oh no, if I didn't have the suit. You know what, I bet you I could still make it up there, maybe? Oh no, uh, maybe not. I might get hit, but I might still be able to. No, there's no way. <laughs> well, I've already messed up the first level. Isn't that great? Okay, let's try this again. Let me immediately get uh, whatever uh, scroll suit we can find right here. No, not, not right there. Uh, where's the scroll suit again? Let's try to find it without making too many mistakes here. Did I miss it or is this it? This is it, yeah, okay. So grab that one and I just gotta be careful not to mess any of this up this time. I mean, I don't need the spring if I don't make any silly mistakes, you know? So, let's try to be careful about that. And grab some more coins while I'm at it, because there's just a bunch of them hanging out. Because that question block has, oh gosh. Oh boy. See, what is that over there? Like, there's a star coin right there, but I'm pretty sure we need to go through this pipe to even make our way forward with the level. Like, maybe I'm wrong? Is this a bonus? Yeah, I think this has to be a bonus. Lots of coins. Well, this is a star coin. So I guess there's just two of them really close to one another. Weird. Yeah, we'll plop out of here. I'm gonna grab onto the side of the wall, and then, oh boy. Okay, hold on, be careful. Oh my gosh, I did not like that. No, whoa, oh come on, it pulled it out from under me. Oh, that was so uncool. Watch out, jeez. These squirrels, they are ridiculous. Okay, I don't know, if, actually, let me check out some of these blocks. Let me, let's make sure none of these are like a little secret. There we go. Nothing like, no secret to get a star coin somewhere. All right, let's move on to the next area. And let's see if there's any star coins waiting for us here. We do get the halfway point, so that might be a good sign. Lots of enemies and things in the way. Oh, you know what, I need you, don't I? And then, I mean, I don't know if this is exactly necessary to do. Gosh darn it, well now I don't get to do it. <laughs> oh, this is such a weird level so far. I don't know if it's even worth worrying about that for right now. The red coins are a little, it's a little too late. My gosh, this is, this is a scary start to World 7. And I warned us, and oh my gosh, why didn't you jump higher? What? <laughs> Usually they jump much higher than that. I guess he was just trying to jump from one platform to the other. I didn't know what he was gonna do. Ah oh, man, this is tough already. Okay, so we'll try to get that, and we'll do everything we can to get all of, are you serious? Okay, now I really need to get these red coins. Come on, come on, yeah, I got them though. What a surprise, awesome. Dodge the squirrel, get this thing, find out what that is. Oh yeah, what is this? It's probably another acorn, I have to imagine. Well, let's let that roll onto the cloud. That way, if hopefully, if I need it, it'll be available. I mean, it might just end up rolling off here. Looks like it, but here's the third star coin. Oh gosh, gotta be careful. I almost just slammed right into the unknown abyss below. Just gotta be careful now. We've gotten all three star coins. We just have to survive. Uh, which is easier said than done in a level like this. Oh, come on. That's fine, that's fine. We still have two more hits we can take, or I guess technically one. I don't know. Good. And got it. There we go. Level one of World 7, while it was difficult, is finally completed. Wow. I am very nervous for the rest of this world now, that's for sure. But. From what I see, there's really only one secret exit in this entire world, it's for the ghost mansion, which is to be expected. So at least we don't have to worry about that as much. And we do also get a little mushroom hut here, which honestly, I might go ahead and snag now because you never know what we might run into in here. So, not really anything I really want. I wish I could just leave, but I don't think it'll let me. Let me find out. Yeah, doesn't do anything. And I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know. I know this one's definitely a mushroom. 
That one might also be a mushroom. I don't know if we've gotten the Bowser one. I don't know. <laughs> Just put that over there. What did we get? Yep. Ah, that stinks. We could have gotten two crowns. <laughs> don't think I would have really used them, so it's fine. It's whatever. I mean, I don't know if we, you know, maybe we'll play a little bit of Toadat in today's episode. A lot of people have been saying I should play more Toadat. So maybe I should go check that out. I don't know. I just feel like some people, like some people have been telling me like, oh, don't play the easy characters. Some people have been telling me, oh, please play the easy characters. So I really don't know. Maybe we'll just, just do what we feel like, you know? So more Toadat might be fun. Oh, and we're still Peachat. That could be cool. Very good clouds to seesaw shrooms. Let's get started with it. I mean, you know, I'm just here to have fun at the end of the day. So it doesn't matter too much. All right, let's get to it. So, and this way we can actually make the most of, oh boy, most of our, what's it called? Our power-ups and our like our peach crowns and stuff, we can actually use those. Oh, and it's Yoshi, that's great. And here's star coin number one, that was as easy as can be. So let's make sure we grab these apples so that we can get even more stuff. And there's another peach egg crown. Why did you even give me the fire flower? <laughs> Who knows? Can we go down this pipe? Uh, let's let this guy pop out so we can eat him and then I can land on that dude. So, so far, so good. Can we eat these dudes? Oh, we can. That makes it so much easier. Whoa, I went right under him. No, Yoshi! Yoshi, come back! Yoshi, come back! Yoshi, where are you going? <laughs> Get back here! Yeah, we got him! I can't believe that worked out. <laughs> weird, very weird. Okay, all I wanna do is get rid of this dude, get up here, and get this thing. Trying, this, trying out all these pipes is what's most important for right now. Got him. And try these ones, nothing. Cause you never know where the next one will be. I don't know if you noticed, but this world is gonna be really tricky. But it's the last one we need to do before we get to uh, World 8, where we can save Princess Peach, hopefully. And we get a one up, very good. There's only one star coin so far. And oh no, watch out! Oh, that was weird. We get another Peach at Crown. Hmm, oh, I still had a Koopa shell. Thought I was just trying to lick him up. So this is like quite a combo level. Can I get in that cloud? Thank you. So what is going on around here? Anything to the left? I don't think so. Just keeps going and going. Huh, maybe not then. And the only unfortunate thing there is that, whoa, we didn't have our flutter jump. Oh, that was weird. Come on, go back up here and then, oh, how did that not get him? That was also very odd. Get this, get over here. There's definitely a star coin over this way. Just had to make sure there was nothing over to the left either. Yup, here's the star coin. So I will take that, get the rest of these coins. Very good. We do have a little bit less lives than we did before, just because every character has their own set of lives. Okay, yeah, this Lakitu Cloud is done for. Might as well just go over here. I don't know if I should just grab another one, another uh, cloud. Might be worth our while. Okay. Uh, oh, got him. Pretty easy to do, honestly, with all these platforms helping us out. Keep moving this way then. And let's take a look up here. I mean, I might have to like go back. I'm just trying to figure everything out though. Okay, well, that's as far as the cloud was able to get me, which, oh, here it is. This is definitely it. No? I think I'm just gonna make the jump better. Oh no, really? Oh, that is the worst. Oh well, I'm so sorry, Yoshi. That stinks. And here it is, which is really easy to get with Peachette. When, if I could, I can see where I'm going. The thing about Peachette is that her like double jump isn't as tough as the scroll suits, because the scroll suit, you move a little in one direction or the other, but this one, you practically go straight up with the propeller cap. It's a little bit different. Speaking of, speaking of which, I really do want to see what Toadette looks like with the propeller cap. And the penguin suit, we haven't seen either of those with Toadette. So that'll be definitely cool to check out. Anyways, there's that done. And the course is clear. You did it. So we have 47 lives in total. The second level, World 7, is done. And I guess we get a little extra goodie for it. What's it gonna be? Thanks a million for your help. Here, take this. It is a fire flower. We, I, don't, I don't think we actually have any fire flowers in our select or selection. So that'll be pretty nice to have. Let's take a look. Is it true? Well, first off, we unlock that path, which is always good to have. More paths to get through. And that can just go in our extra slot. Yeah, we didn't have any fire flowers there. Okay, very cool. So I'm gonna make my way back around. And we have ourselves Marion Goo Clause 3, Switchback Hill. Very cool. So with Switchback Hill, 
Hopefully everything turns out okay. But after this, we're tackling the tower already. This world feels like it's gonna go by faster than World 6 because World 6 just had so many levels. Okay, so there is the star coin. Oh, I see what I gotta do. I just gotta duck and cover, and then we just gotta time our jump, and we're fine. I'd rather not be ice toad at if I can just keep being peach at. Oh no! Well, too late. <laughs> oh, can I get up there? I can, but it doesn't seem like, yeah, there's not too much over there for me. Oh well, just gotta keep standing on these platforms. So I'll try to get up here as well. Get rid of that Koopa. That didn't give me too much yet. Hold on, is there anything up here? I don't think there is, but yeah, it doesn't seem like it. So apparently another feature for Toadette that I haven't even been aware of yet, but apparently this is something, is that she actually swims faster than everybody else. So that's interesting to know. Is there something up here? You bet there is. Had to take damage to find out. Very unnecessary, but that's what happened. But yeah, she apparently swims more like the penguin suit, uh, like how most other characters swim with the penguin suit, so that makes her a little bit easier. So even though it says Nabbit's the easiest, I would argue that, she, that he's not. Because like, he really can't get any powers that make it easier to survive pitfalls, which eventually becomes more of a problem than enemies do, is surviving the tricky jumps. So, I don't know, it's sort of like a mixture with him. I mean, I'm sure there are sections that are easiest with Nabbit, but not all of them are, you know, arguably. So that gets very interesting. It's sort of like both Toadette and Nabbit are easier, but maybe not easiest for Nabbit. Okay, so what's going on around here? This down, that down low looks odd. You see this over here? Yeah, that's definitely something. It is, oh, Peach Egg Crown, again. But nothing else? Not anything else yet. I'd rather stick with the crown for now. And I have a feeling I'm supposed to pick up this pal block and keep it around with me. Oh, I can't glide while I'm holding something. That complicates this. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, I get it, I get it, I got it. So that definitely is a lot easier with the squirrel suit. Okay, um, I could probably get a one-up if I was careful enough with this. It's always fun to do this. There we go, one-up. And if you're good with no enough with this, you could probably get up to 99 lives. I don't wanna waste too much of our time, but it gets really addicting to do, and I don't wanna die. Oh, ah, come on, let's get the 60 lives, there it is. And let's just try to keep making our way out of this level. There we go, look at that! Boing and boing. And then wait, there it is! <laughs> Could've even gotten another one there if I landed on the Koopa again. That is so cool. <laughs> Could have kept going until I had like 99 lives or died or something. But, you know, I wanted to keep moving. That was cool. You did it. So awesome, awesome stuff. We got that done. And that means, of course, we can move on to the tower. We really are moving fast. That's three levels done in 15 minutes, so like five minutes a level. It's actually pretty good. So let's walk across these platforms and go to Marangu Cloud's Tower Slide Lift Tower. So there's slides that will lift us somewhere around here. Gotta keep that in mind. Okay. Ooh, gotcha. So I'm gonna get up here real fast if I can. I'm just trying to take him out. It's not working out so well. I might just have to ignore him. What else do we get around here? We get a, another peach at crown. Don't quite need it. I'm just gonna avoid him at all costs and try to find our, our first star coin, which is bound to be around here somewhere, right? Hold on, let's try that again. Oh boy, there it is. Oh gosh. It's, it's tough to wall jump off of these for some reason. There's a Smash Bros map that is just basically this. It's weird. Okay, I got some coins for doing that, I guess. No, what? Yeah, she's like not wall jumping for some reason. Can Peachette not wall jump? No, see, that's not the case. It's just very weird. Okay, whoa, here we go. There we go, we got him. Not a problem. And give me that star. That might make things even easier here. Go for it, go for it. Gotcha. <laughs> And anything fun up here? Not quite, just more coins. So not really too much done with the star. We got rid of one fire, bro, but isn't it too big of a deal? Where are these star coins at? I really hope I haven't missed any yet. Oh, definitely something's over there. Let's figure out what it is. Oh, here we go, it's a little moon. But that can't be it, right? It is, wow. I love the moons, they're very cool. Now we're at 70 lives. But I was hoping for a little bit more. Whoa, watch it fire, bro. Come on, got him. <laughs> it took a couple of tries. And nothing down here either. 
Where in the world is Star Coins? Oh my gosh. Getting a little concerned here. I don't know what's with the little gap in the ceiling there. Come on. There is a Star Coin. I'm gonna be very surprised if this is the first one. And look at that, it's the first one. How weird is that? Now, is there anything else up there? No, it's just a ceiling. Gotcha. How weird is that? <laughs> so what's going on now? Definitely gonna get this halfway marker so that we don't mess anything else up. Or if that we do mess something up, we'll be okay because we can just get back to this point. I might have to hop down there to the right. Cause like you might notice that there is some extra stuff down there. What's the dealio with this? Guess it's nothing. Very, very weird. Okay. So one question I wanted to ask you guys, P-Chat related, is what do you guys think about the character first off? I know we talked about that a little bit when we first showcased her, but also, do you think that she's gonna be a more common character now? Do you think this is gonna be something that is just New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe? Because that's sort of the weird thing. This really could have been anyone. I mean, obviously they didn't want it to be Princess Peach because obviously you're saving her. That wouldn't make any sense. But then, I guess they wanted somebody who would, oh no, 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 no. Oh gosh, well there goes our Peach chat. Uh, they wanted somebody, ooh, here we go, who controls like Princess Peach. But then why not make it Daisy or even Rosalina to an extent? I mean, I'm sure they could have th thought of something. Or maybe even just make it, I mean, maybe this would have been too much work for them, I don't know. Um, but I think it would have been pretty cool if maybe it was another character. And for completing New Super Mario Bros. U, maybe you unlock uh, like a bonus mode where you can play through the game. How do I do this? Can I not do this without a floating ability? Because that really seems like what's going on here. Hold on. Maybe if I just make this, no, there's no way I can jump that high. Really? Weird. I don't think I'm getting that wrong. I think I can't get it up there. All right, well then it might actually be better just to die and then get back here with a uh, power up. That is very weird. All right, so I'm back into this pipe and I have Peach at this time. There's no real like dangerous obstacles here. It's just one of those things where like, there's no way you could have made that without this. So like that's sort of the tough part here is actually getting here with a power up. But we're able to do it this time. We can flutter up like that and boom, got star coin number two. And look, it even tells you to glide back this way. So they know that there's no way you can really get up here without it. So that's fine. I mean, we just had to keep that in mind. And now that we know, we keep moving forward. Trying to be careful this fire, bro though. Whoa, that's a big giant fire thing. Whoa, hold on. Is there, there's a fire flower right there which I actually do not want. All I wanna see is what is up here. Oh, there's another pipe. <laughs> Where does this pipe lead? This pipe's all over the place. Baby star coin number three. Ooh, this is scary actually. Dude, we gotta be very careful if we don't wanna be squished, but we also just have to be very wary of where we're stepping. Cause like, even this, I gotta get to the left. Whoa, whoa, come on, come on. Once again, if we make the wrong step at the wrong time, we can most certainly be squished. Okay, get over here, wait for everything to move again, and I think we'll be okay. Oh, thank goodness. So what is this over here? Probably, yep, a peach jack crown. Which I don't need, so I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I mean, maybe I could have taken it for the extra points, but I'd rather just save the time. And look at that, it even gives us a little bit of a shortcut up here, so not so bad. I mean, it's a tower, it's not a full-blown castle, so it makes sense that it's not as difficult. But we sort of made our way through that pretty quickly. So we're going against Kamek, which usually save for World 8. All right, Kamek. What are you gonna do, huh? Oh no, this looks very familiar to some of the other Kamek battles, but also a little bit different. So he's gonna be teleporting all over the place like he normally does, or it's gonna land right on his head. Okay, there he is, there he is. Ooh. Oh, we almost were able to get that. You could like totally break it with Peach It's amazing. Come on, get a little bit lower, buddy. Come on, you can do it. I guess he's not interested. He's gonna create a couple more blocks. I'm gonna hop up here. And as soon as he's ready to start throwing down, I'm gonna go for him. What's with the tiny little Goomba in that one? Come on, oh no! Oh, but I still got him! Nice, okay, so we, we got some pretty good time with that one. I feel like you could get, probably get like a really good speed run time with to or P-Chat than you could with like Mario or something. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe that won't even matter. But it seems like you can definitely circumvent some of things a little bit better, which is always cool. Okay, so with that done, it looks like we're moving to a ghost house after this. Very fun, I suppose. I mean, sometimes they're not so fun. But maybe this one will be. We don't have to worry about it right away because we got ourselves a one-up hut to deal with first. Now we're used to these, of course. We'll collect as many as we possibly can and see how things go. Two, 
one, go. So extra coins at first, nothing crazy. And then we got our first one that I missed and I missed the second one. So this is definitely not gonna be like my best score ever. Oh my gosh, I'm missing all of them. And then I get one and immediately is tied to a Bowser one. Sometimes it is random, it seems. And it's just like impossible to pick up the, the one up one without picking up the Bowser one. Like I got very lucky there. Ooh. Oh my gosh, now I'm actually in the negatives. Okay, I got one. I think I got one one up in total there. <laughs> I did not do a good job. Oh no, I got two. All right, awesome, I'll take it. There we go, we get two one ups, a two up. And we can keep moving forward with that one. So now with that done, it looks like we can march on over this way. See what's going on. It is Marangu Cloud's ghost house, spinning spirit house. Very cool. All right, I'm looking forward to this one. Hopefully everything turns out okay. I don't know why I'm looking forward to this one. I just have a good feeling that's not gonna be, oh my gosh, I'm already scared. Never mind, I had a good feeling about it. My feeling is that feeling was sunk down to the bottom of my stomach when you see that many moves. So can we walk through this? We can, and get a fire flower. Fire toadette's cool. So there's so many doors, which one's the right one? I've made a major mistake thinking this would turn out okay. Okay, so now we're on the spinning platform. Hmm. Do I wanna go through this door? Okay, well it's a fake door anyways. Just gotta be careful, oh ho ho ho, I don't know if I should be doing this, no I shouldn't be. What's this? It is another fire flower, so I'll gladly take that. I don't think I've missed out on like a star coin or anything. Oh, this is moving back. Okay, well, let's just move now. <laughs> I don't I don't wanna go all the way back. Oh, that, is this a, this is a different room. It's just like little barricades now. Then, that's a fake door. That's a fake door. Oh, okay, so we could go up that way. But this is a real door. So you sort of have to like play the level a couple times to figure out where everything is. Which can be fun, but it can also be scary. Yeah, I think those guys usually take two hits, don't they? Well, oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't have done that. Unless there's supposed to be more guys in these boxes. I think so. So I messed that up. Well, there's a star coin that I, I'm gonna have to come back to get. Maybe I can come back through here if I can figure out where the door is? Huh. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I guess I was supposed to guide that guy around until he broke all the stuff we needed him to break. Where are we now? Oh, we're back here, right? So if I go over here, there should be a wall? Yes. So this is gonna be a fake door. So can I just go back in? No, wait, well, that wasn't the door, remember. It was this one. So let's try that again. And see which star coin that is supposed to be. Yeah, okay, he's back. Hey, buddy. So I've just gotta sort of jump around you but also try to hope you don't break the boxes because I'm sure that one of these has another guy in them. So far, so good, but you never know. Because he sort of has a bit of a drag to him. Go for it, go for it, good job. Okay. He definitely takes a lot of fireballs. And that's the first star coin, very good news. So we're making our way through okay then. That's a good thing to see. Okay, so with that done, we know that this door is complete. I can't go to the left, I can't go up, but I can go to the right where I can Jump off of this, and what about to the left? Nothing, to the right there is a wall, so not really anything. Okay, let's give this door a shot then. I'm glad that we actually found the first dark coin first. That usually doesn't happen. Usually find like the seventh one. <laughs> There's only three. Watch it, watch it. Ooh, uh, hold on, I have a feeling there's something against this wall. It's just a bunch of coins. But I had to try. Whoa, I missed it. <laughs> Whoopsies. Get back up here, and what do we got? Another fire flower, I don't quite need it, so I guess I'll just leave it just in case I get hit somewhere. Maybe it'll stay, I don't think it will though, unfortunately. So that room wasn't really too much, just a couple of coins and a power up, but maybe we'll lead somewhere new. Yeah, this is definitely a different room, where currently I can only, okay, well I can go down that way too. Interesting. Does this door lead anywhere? You bet it does. Let's go ahead and try this one. Oh my, there's booze everywhere. I think there's some secrets somewhere around here. Oh, there is a star coin right up there. So if I just hold on tight, and we're gonna sit here and slide. And then ready for it. Oh, no, oh, hey, hey, get back here. Hold on, I'm not done with you. Ready? Oh, yeah, I got it. That was funny, but also really weird. Oh, no, 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 let's be careful. 
That's not being careful. I wanted to get this power up. Got it, very cool. So that is a fire flower for us, which means I should be good with just going through here. That was also the second star coin, so that's really good. Um, and can we go down this way now? We could try this door. Is it real, is it fake? I guess it's real. And it's another one of these rooms, which I'm not a big fan of, especially with the angry question blocks of doom. Oh no. Oh gosh. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Gotta be careful. Oh no, 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 no. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I got all the coins. Or at least all the normal coins, not all the star coins. So once we get the star coins, everything will be okay. Then I'll just have to make my way through this level and then find the secret exit afterwards. Oh gosh, big boo. Okay, I got lots of stuff to dodge. I have a feeling I'm supposed to guesstimate where the, okay, never mind. I thought I was just gonna fall and I was just supposed to know where the star coin might show up. Is this thing gonna fall again or something? I don't think so. So I think we're gonna go through this door. And that's the exit. So we need to find star coin number three and the secret exit, it seems. All right, these guys are gonna charge me. I don't really care. <laughs> we're just gonna keep moving and hop back into that level. <laughs> Does she say go toad or toadette? She probably goes toadette, yeah. I don't know why I thought it was go toad. I don't wanna make too much sense. Uh, so there we go, there's the normal exit. Now time to find the secret exit. Ooh, this has a couple of paths to it already. We can already see the final castle and everything. Like, I mean, there's three more levels left, but it's definitely going faster than World 6. But let me hop back in and try to find that secret exit. Okay, so there is like a little section to the left there that seems very odd to me. So what we're gonna do is head to the left. There's another spring. Maybe we could just, yeah, look at that. So where does this door lead? Little corner over here. Hmm, this seems odd. Oh, okay, so there's like a whole bunch of invisible stuff. There's a button. Oh, I'm gonna have to follow these blue coins. They definitely lead somewhere. Oh, yes, they do. Okay, so this has to be a star coin. Yep, there it is, star coin number three, and we're definitely on the path to the secret exit, so let's hope this door gets us there. And if so, we've conquered this ghost mansion, which is really good. All right, let's run, 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 run. I don't know what ghostly question blocks might show up. There we go, we do it. Not a problem. So 76 lives in total, and more importantly, the course is clear. Both with the star coins, both with the secret exits. I wonder where this one's gonna lead. Because I believe it might just be the only secret exit we have to worry about. Looks like it, this is the only secret exit in the entire world. Or entire world seven. And we can see the smoke clouds of the castle in the background, we really are getting somewhere. Where did, Where's that going? All the way to the castle? All the way to the castle. What an awesome little, tr do we slide down it? Wee, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, so what's going on with this? Ah, I see, so I can either deal with the little fuzzies. I don't know if this is correct, but I'm gonna do this one, because I wasn't really looking. <laughs> oh, oh, it is correct, nice. We get ourselves a fire flower. Very cool. So that'll be added to our inventory, which is always nice as well. And they actually disappear now. So I could actually just march my way over to this level. Of course, this is uh, Marangu Cloud 6, but I'm not too interested in the moment. What I'd rather do is try to... Okay, so is it gonna give the whole puzzle again? I suppose so. I mean... Yeah, so this is actually a straight path to the to the level here. What level is this so? Is this level... This is level five, I wanna do level four. <laughs> Come on now, is that what I want? Okay, go back here. Okay, now this one, yeah, there we go, that's what I wanted. So we're gonna go, well maybe, maybe that's not what I wanted. Is it even possible to get over here right now? Uh, that's not where I, okay, I just gotta take these guys out. <laughs> I was gonna take them down and hopefully that'll help. So, we're fire toad at right now anyway, so I, I might be able to just to fire, yeah, I can just fire them away. I don't even need whatever this is, it's a star. But I will take it, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I would love to have it, there it is. So let me get this treasure chest. It has, oh nice, another propeller cap. I will gladly take that. Okay, so with that, what do we got going on now? So where am I gonna put that in my inventory? I'll have to figure it out. I could go ahead and put it over a P-Jack crown. I think we'll be fine with that. They basically have the same function, except for this actually works on all characters. So with that done, let me go back because I really want to check out the fourth level. Um. 
Let me go. And let's see if it'll actually let me this time, because it's been very silly. See, so yeah, if I want to go over there, would I actually have to, no, but that wouldn't, oh, I see. I need to go down here. Like that, go to the right, go to up, and then there we go. Level number four, it is a bouncy cloud boomerang. So let's get to it, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. But then we have two more levels after this in the castle. So I guess there's no secret level for this one. Yeah, level six and, or world six and seven don't have any special levels, which is sort of a shame. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. This looks like the opening of a new Super Mario Bros. Wii level. What's up here? Oh, a nice. We'll take a nice. Hopefully that'll work well. Hmm, I don't like these staircases. Well, it's not that I don't like them, I don't trust them. <laughs> I feel like some of, them, some of them are gonna be hiding something. Hey, can we bounce? Oh, we can bounce off of this? Oh, that's a lot of fun. I like that. Let's freeze you. These are the kind of levels that usually have the toughest star coins though, sometimes. But this is where, you know, I was talking last episode about now that, you know, these are the levels where Toadette is an easier character because she can actually have more variants in the air with stuff with the propeller cap and, ow, and the, the peach jack crown. Get you out of here. What is that? That's a moon, no! Wait, oh wait, there was stuff under there. I didn't realize. Oh, I could have gotten a three up moon. That would have been awesome. I mean, I've gotten quite a few of those in this series, so I'm not too worried. Got it. Oh boy, watch out for this Koopa as well. So what is all this stuff really? Like, there might be, whoa, that gave me some major jumping. Nothing in there. There has to be something in one of these pipes. No. Huh. Like, I'm sure one of these has something important, right? Has to. No. What is the point of all that down there, then? Let me get down here real fast and see if I can't like rub against this wall and nothing again. <laughs> what a weird little area. But this pipe, that seems peculiar to me. As if there is something, I just haven't seen it yet. Mmm, I do not trust that. It has to be one of these. I think one of these has to be like a vine or something. It's gonna be this one. Yeah, there it is. We figured it out. I just, the context clues were there. We just had to look into it a little bit more. Okay, so with this one, I'm gonna bounce up like that and see what's going on. Not too much there. There's definitely going to be something somewhere. Some kind of star coin. Okay, I don't wanna do that and end up not being able to get up here. Okay, I might just have to bounce on this one like that. There's a star coin. Go and get it before it gets away. There it is. All these coins are bouncing around. Got it. Okay, wait, that was star coin two. Where's star coin one? Hold on, we gotta go back. Luckily, I don't think we've gone to any like unreturnable areas. Okay, watch it. Had to be in like one of these pipes, right? Watch out for the boomerang. Oh, it's right there. How did I miss that? <laughs> don't worry, I got it. Oh, oh, don't die, don't die. Oh, gotta be careful. Okay, no more Koopas. Let's just try to find like a checkpoint somewhere. Like that would be really nice. And also if we could get the Peach Egg Crown, it'd actually be a really nice level for it. This is really tough to do, because you jump so high in the air. Come on. Oh no, oh I did it, awesome. I actually was not expecting to, but we made it work. Okay, very, very cool. I'm gonna try to ignore you guys, because I don't want a nice flower right now. How much you wanna bet that, that has to be something. Oh, okay, that isn't, but this is. Let's check this out. Whoa, is it launching me? Whee! All right, well, it's something. It just wasn't really what I was expecting. There we go, we got him. That was awesome. <laughs> now we just should just be able to jump up there, no problem, and star coin number three. Not a problemo. This has been actually a really nice level. I mean, there's been some tough parts with that. Okay, so what are my chances of getting a, an ex extra life with this? I feel like it's pretty low. Oh, that's another star, actually. Maybe not anymore. Um, I'm just gonna keep going. Get past that guy. There we go, there we go. There we go, got those extra lives coming in now. Oh wait, got him. <laughs> okay, let's try to dodge that. And boom, one extra life for good measure. 83 lives in total, how cool is that? Yay, I did it. You did it. Very cool. So there we go, we got it. And with that done, what's going on now? Looks like, yeah, we gotta march on over to the fifth level now, and hopefully that other dude won't get in the way. We'll have to wait and see. So where's the path to level five? 
Okay, it's a straight shot, but we have to deal with the little dude. That's fine. We should be able to handle that. So just walk across and boom. I mean, if we equipped a star item, it would actually knock those guys out immediately. I don't know if it was worth it or not, so. Yeah, duck and cover for that. Same, oh wait, can't, oh, you guys are going down. You ruined my P-check crown. Got it, and got it, look at that. I made quick work of you chumps. Okay, maybe that's a little rude. Hey, another penguin suit, awesome. We're getting some good power-ups though, so that's good. A propeller cap, penguin suit, some of my favorites. And they're both from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. It's almost like I'm biased. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put that over probably another P-Jack crown. Just because we get these a whole lot easier than we'll get penguins, for sure. And fireflowers don't show up on the, the you know, the mini games too much, so we wanna keep those. Marion Good Clouds 5, a quick dip in the sky. Don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I guess we'll find out together. Might be a good level, might be a tough level. Not really sure, oh, it's one of these. So yeah, we can actually showcase how Toadette swims. She actually swims like she has a penguin suit on. She swims really fast and she actually swims in all directions instead of only really left and right and up and down like Mario and Luigi and all the other characters do. So definitely something to keep in mind if you're having a hard time with a swimming level, you might wanna go ahead and try Toadette or Nabbit if you're willing to go that far. Okay, so let's get up this way. Nothing going on with that. I do really like how you can play as different characters in this game. I really wish that was a feature that was with the rest of the new Super Mario Bros. series. I mean, it is to an extent. You can play Luigi both in, uh, oh, is there something? Ooh, uh, both in the DS and the 3DS versions. I probably don't wanna go up there, though, if I don't have to. There's a three up moon, and I'm gonna meet it down this way, hopefully. <laughs> Where'd it go? There it is, there it is. I'm gonna wait for it. Boom, three up. Very cool. So I don't know if there's any kind of like secret over here. It doesn't look like it, but you gotta be careful. So we get another fire flower. But yeah, like I was saying before, um, when we were playing through the castle, I still think it would've been pretty cool if maybe they just made Princess Peach a playable character. Like, don't get me wrong, I love playing as Toadette, she's awesome, and I don't think they should've gotten rid of her. But like, I think that like, you know, it would've been cool to actually really go wild. You know, like basically what they do with Super Mario 3D World. Not only could you play as Mario, but you could play as Luigi, Toad, Princess Peach, and Rosalina. So like, I would have really liked to see that for New Super Mario Bros, especially since it came out around the same, same time, at least this one did. But anyways, in the deluxe version, I had the chance to fix that and actually put like Rosalina in the game, or just like a really unexpected character in like a fun way. Now, I don't know if there's anything up here, so you better bet I'm gonna try to figure out if I can get up there. I don't know, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it doesn't have anything up there. Okay, woo, this is so tough. It's hard to actually keep up with it all. Okay, try to get into this block. Why is she tiny, Toad? Toadette. I feel like she's smaller in the water. Am I wrong with that? Okay, like, look at the size she is now. And then we hop out of the water. Nah, she's about the same size. It just looks a little weird. Okay, never mind. All right, so let's get over to here. I'm gonna try to get all these red coins, but I'm missing them. She swims almost too fast, oh my gosh. I feel like I might have missed something there. I'm a little concerned. Um, Let me try these pipes out. Got it, there's nothing there. I mean, there could be something with the piranha plants. I just don't think so. Whoa, watch it, buddy. Yeah, nothing. So let me just swim up this way and swim over to here. Oh gosh, there's definitely something there. I can already see the star coin at the top right. Gosh darn it. It's very tough. Okay, gotta be careful. What's with this? Where does this lead? Oh, whoa, cool. So that's star coin number two, and along with it, oh gosh. We got like a bunch of Koopas taken down. And there's star coin number three, dang it! I, I moved a little too fast. Cause she jumps out and into the water, I feel like faster than your average swimming character. That is a bit odd. So let me try that again. Was there a trick point in that at all? There was, so hopefully I can do it again and it'll be okay. So I was able to get all the red coins this time and because of that, I have Peachette again, which honestly might be a big help here because all I gotta do actually, I don't even need to grab that star coin the way I did. I can just launch her like that. And that's probably gonna be easier, hopefully. Because all I gotta do now is just try to find my way up here like that. Perfect, get up to this bubble and into that pipe. And I think that's it, I think that's the end of the level. I mean, there might be a little bit more towards the end here. Okay, can I bounce off of you? You bet I can. Easy peasy. Got another one up, and we have 87 lives in total. I love this background, that looks really cool. 
Just like seeing all the rolling clouds and what I guess are technically hilltops in the Mario universe. They're very weird. And with that, we should be able to keep moving. Looks like it. So all these levels done. It was a bit of a tough situation to get them all. But Meringue, Meringue Cloud 6, Shaking Above Mist Valley. Ooh, what is Mist Valley? That doesn't sound like a friendly place. I mean, it could be. I just don't know. Oh, I see, it is quite misty. Boom, got him. Definitely wanna get rid of those guys as soon as possible, because they are a pain in the booty. Another Peach Act Crown if we needed it. We don't quite need it at the moment, so I'm gonna leave it be. Boing, boing, got him good. Try to get rid of those guys, but it didn't work out so well. But yeah, I don't think these guys blow you away. They just sort of, you know, make it harder to see, which is still a problem. So we wanna put that to rest as soon as possible. Oh, that was scary. That was really scary. Oh, that got rid of him too. Oh, we wanna go under here, don't we? Indeed we do. And then I can just grab that. Perfect. I'm sure if we went fast enough, we could actually just go around the other way. But we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so I might wanna worry about these Koopas, but I can't really see at the moment. So, never mind. What is down here? Oh, you know what? It's not worth finding out. Oh, it's a moon! Ah, oh, man. Oh, well. Let's keep going. Whoa, whoa, she has a really tall spin jump. That is crazy. Okay, so let's make sure this camera stops scrolling before we move too far. So I don't wanna miss out on a potential like extra star coin or something. I think that's it. Okay, so we can go down this pipe. So uh, we're doing pretty well so far. I mean, really not too much more to worry about, right? Got ourselves a checkpoint flag. That there's nothing over here. And let's get to it. Hoo hoo! Okay. Watch it, dude! Whoa, okay, that messed me up. You just moved at just the right time. Fire bros, hammer bros, they all do the same stuff with that. Okay, oh, well there it goes. I can't get that now. That stinks. Mm. Oh, that was not the star coin, but it was something. Wait a minute, I don't trust this. Am I supposed to be down there right now? No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Like, I could try it so that I could get those green coins. I don't think it's worth it. I think I just need to keep surviving and trying to get wherever I need to go for this last star coin. It was a bit risky, to be honest with you. I need to do a lot of spin jumping. And why I'm trying to do that is so that I can see as many, okay, of the clouds being cleared out as possible. So there it is, but how do I get to it? Oh no. Um, maybe I could get a power up from here and then get over there real fast. This is gonna be risky. This is gonna be real risky. No way, that is so unfair. Ah, oh, now I gotta go, no. Oh, wow, well, that was weird, that was not me. I guess if you hit the floor, she sort of flutters up. Maybe that was me, maybe I struck the controller, that was very odd. Anyways, that stinks. You basically have to have the power up ready at that point, which makes it really tough. Okay, so I got the crown this time, just from all the green coins and stuff. Only thing I have to worry about is this. Oh boy, that is really scary. I was just barely able to get myself out of that situation. So I just need to keep looking around. I mean, I know where it is now. I just have to be ready for it because it does get sneaky. There we go, that's all we had to do. It is a tough one. I mean, obviously if you got a Koopa shell, you could also get it that way, but that could be a tough situation. And I guess I'm not getting that. Luckily, I don't need it. I just need to get my way to the end of this level, hopefully. And I'm gonna land right on top of that, dude. Anything in those? Just some coins. What? I can't see that! I can't see that! Oh, that's the whole point! Ah, ay, ay, ay. We did it though, we made our way through. I just gotta keep going and hopefully this is the pipe to freedom. Maybe. I mean, we got all three star coins, so if we could just keep going, get out of this level, that'd be great. Ah, sort of messed that one up. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. It would be interesting if they did a new Super Mario Bros. game with Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi. Like some kind of like weird mix-up game where it's like it's a side scroller, but it features Wario and Waluigi. Like I feel that'd be pretty cool, right? Something like that. And there we go, that castle's unlocked. Sorry, I just sort of went on a random tangent about Wario and Waluigi there for a second. I mean, I don't know, I was still continuing my thought process of uh, all the like different characters they could add to this game, including Toadette, not excluding her. Okay, so we got a star or a mushroom. I wanna get the star. I mean, I don't know why I wanna get the star, but I wanna get the star. So I'm paying attention to the star and only the star, maybe that's a mistake. Okay, so there's the star. I have a one-third chance and I fail. Ah, I was right there the whole time. 
Oh, well, at least I got a star out of it, so that's pretty good. You won, check it out. So I don't even know where I'm putting that. <laughs> Probably nowhere, I don't know. We'll have to see what we have. And then I can go and take on the castle, and then we'll be done World 7 already. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna put it over a star. I don't really wanna go over any of this. We have a pretty good inventory, and I wanna keep it that way for as long as possible, so one star slot is on again. So with that being done, let us move on over this way and take on Marangu Cloud's castle, Ludwig's Clockwork Castle. So this one is bound to be difficult because this entire world has been quite tough, but I don't know, it's actually, I mean, it, it, I feel like it isn't as bad as last world, so. I'll have to find out what's going on here. Oh, I do remember this this castle though, and it being tough. Ludwig is so interesting. He's always the last guy, you know? I mean, I don't know if he was in Super Mario World, but he is in this game, or in all the new Super Mario Bros. games. So like, that's really what I'm, I mean by that. Got it. And what is going on with this? Okay, I do want that, please and thank you. But I might have to do. Oh, come on, really? Well, with my extra moment of invincibility from getting hit, I'm taking this, because I feel like this would make it, oh, and also, is there? Ah, look at that. Paying attention to the context clues again. Gotta pay attention to our environment and everything. Anything up there? Doesn't look like it. So we have to land over here and take a look at everything. Yup, just like that. You never know when there might be a hidden little star coin somewhere. So you always gotta be willing to look. Okay, we need to, ooh, okay, I didn't realize those took up a physical presence as the little dividers. I thought they were sort of a part of the background. Ooh, gotta be real careful. And then, what is this gonna be? An ice flower that I don't really want. I wanna keep with this. But it is good to have an extra power up if we need it. I'm gonna dodge that little dude. Oh no, it's a, it's one of the uh, big hammer bros, the sledge bros. They're not good. Oh, there's the star coin. No! <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. If I go over here, I can grab this checkpoint and then I can die. And then I, wait, yeah, that's uh, that happened again. So I guess with Peachette, if you fall in a pit, she'll have like a little extra chance just to pop back up. That was not me. All right, well. I'll go back in there. I might actually grab, this might be the best time for a peach at crown, so I'm taking it. Let's hope this turns out okay. I'll go back to the Marangu Clouds castle, Ludwig's Clockwork Castle. We can do it. I know we can. I just didn't expect that to happen. I probably should have. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. Already forgot my plan the second it happened. Oh, that was rude. So if I if I do this while you're on the floor, that'd be best because it'll knock you out. That's what I wanted, no it's not. No it's not, are you serious? Are you serious? Come on, that is stinky. That is just straight up stinky because I'm running towards it but this is, there's stuff in the way. So I really didn't wanna have to do this but I, I need to get up there, like you can't actually reach the pal block normally. This is a really tricky star coin. I'm like going nuts trying to get this thing. It's driving me nuts, oh my gosh. So try this again. She looks so cute in the propeller suit though. All I gotta do right now is just, while he's on the floor, just like that, and then we just slam on it. Slam on it, give it to me, thank you. Now if I die, I'm gonna have to do that again, so let's hold on to what we got, you know? I mean, what what is in here? Yeah, that, I don't want that. See, like, that wouldn't have helped me, so I did need this. Like, I straight up needed it. So we need to find star coin number three somewhere around here. Oh, don't get squished, yeah, thank you. I don't like this guy one bit. So if I could yeah, get rid of him like that, that's perfect. I mean, I could try to, I'm not getting those. <laughs> There's too many of them all over the place. I'd rather just keep with the good old propeller suit. It's my favorite power up, at least in this game. And most of them are again, to be honest with you. So where in the world could the last star coin be? I mean, it could be up here. Oh, there's a pipe up here. Then most likely. So let's just go up like this, and we got it. Come on now. What do we got? Is it gonna be another situation like before? Where the star coin's just gonna show up? Cause I'm gonna be ready for it, ignoring all other coins. Cause this star coin's gonna show up and it's gonna expect me to grab it. That's not it. That's it? I guess that's it. Weird. So that is not the third and final star coin. That is just a bunch of coins. Weird indeed. Okay, let me slam this dude so he's not in my way. And look at that, there's some extra coins in there, but not the third star coin. It could be anywhere. Slam on him, boom, from way up above, that was cool. What is that, that's a crown, if I wanted to try the crown, but I'm making the most of this while I have it. 
That is for sure. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, so why isn't the platform push this one around, you know? <laughs> okay. Got it, got it. And then we just gotta get back up this way. I think I'm gonna try to take on a boss fight with the propeller cap, because it's just really cool to do. Let's get to it. I don't know, she looks really cool in this, so. Ha <laughs> ha ha! What are you laughing at? Wow, look at the background. The background's really cool. You can see the uh, the airship and the castle in the fog. That's gonna be intense next episode. We're gonna hop in there and deal with that. But for right now, we gotta deal with Ludwig. He's always so chuckly. Oh no. Oh, 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 yeah! You're not the only one to jump really high now. How do you like that? That was cool. That was really cool. And then you're going to. Oh no! You got me! You little stinker. Let's hope he pops back out on the side. Give us what I'm ready for. Uh, I don't know if he's going to. Yeah, he didn't. Oh well, that's fine. We only have to hit him one more time. Whoa, he's splitting into three. I mean, maybe this is good, so we can actually show what he does as a boss. Oh man, he is all over the place. I haven't been paying attention to which one is him. Oh, it was that one. Well, there you go. <laughs> we got him. See you, Ludwig. I think his technical name is Ludwig von Koopa. I think it's like a reference to like a composer or something. Not really sure. But there we go. That is the last level of World 7, I believe. We'll go ahead and check the list after this. But all of the Koopalings have been beaten up. And hopefully that means they're done for for this game. We'll have to find out soon enough. I mean, there might be actually a little bit more. Trying to remember. Ooh. I mean, crashes off to who knows where. And here we go. What is this? Ooh. I guess we'll save. And before we finish off for the day, I think there's actually one more level left to do. Uh oh. Just like last time, the airship surprises us, sneaks in, and snags us, right? Oh, no, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to guess. Guess I just hold on. Uh oh, no, leave us alone. No. Marangu Cloud's airship boarding the airship. Oh boy, this is not good. We'll have to look around as much as we can and see if we can't find some power ups. Get all the star coins we can. She looks super cute in this as well. Oh, this is just like Super Mario 3, where you have to actually get onto the ship first. I mean, usually that's like a little cutscene. But here, it's like it's an actual thing. This is super cool. It really is boarding the airship, like it says. Oh boy. So this thing will slam down. That's a little scary. Oh boy. Let's duck and cover right here. Ah! That's scary as well. Leave me alone, you big bully. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Whoa. I'm gonna go ahead and become Peach at. It might be easier, because I don't I actually don't really want to uh latch on the walls like that. Still no star coins out. Okay, we're, we're sort of a step ahead of him right now. No, we're not. Uh, wait, 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 no! Wait, can we land on top of it? Oh, we can, <laughs> interesting. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, so, what's down this way? There's nothing down that way? Oh, you're gonna punch it. All right. There's another peach at crown. I'm gonna leave it for now, just in case. Okay, so, ooh, that just pushes us away. In such a weird way as well. Okay, no, we gotta go. Oh no! Whoa, 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 you changed position for me there. That was weird. Where in the world are the star coins? Okay, there's one of them. Yeah, just punch right there. And while you're concerned with that, oh no. Sort of turned that around on us. We're fine though, we're fine. That was star coin number one, so we haven't missed anything yet. And here's the halfway point already? So does this level even have the airship? Like, do we even go on it? Oh yeah, right here. Wait, how did it get here? It was over our heads a second ago. Weird. But hey, whatever. Just keep going. Oh, we had, oh wow. I didn't know they had this in this game. They had the little motion controls. Weird. This whole game, they hadn't had this at all. They haven't had like a single motion controls required thing until this moment. That is sort of weird design. You don't really want to introduce motion controls into a game that hasn't had mandatory motion controls the entire game, and now you're on like one of the last levels of it. I mean, on the second to last, the last level, the second to last world. Like, that's just bizarre. Anyways, what does this have for us? I think I actually need to keep going with that. Um, so let's go and grab it. <laughs> Hold on, and that sort of happens too. I'm just trying to move the platform, but if you move the controller too much, she's gonna do that little jump, which is unintentional, but that's just what happens. So that's why it really shouldn't be motion controls. 
Come on, come on. Like, the idea can be fun, but the execution's not always the best. So we gotta be careful, because this thing's spinning around. Okay, go, 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 go. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. Just trying to find out where this last star coin could be. So far, doing a decent job not finding it. <laughs> That's not something I wanna do, though. <laughs> Okay, I got those three. Oh wait, turn around, turn around. I mean, I don't really need this one up it's gonna give me, but I'll try for it. Come on, there it is. Okay, so there's the star coin. Got it. The problem now though is that my oh, my platform is leaving me behind. Oh no, it's it's fine, it's just right there. Oh, we did it! There's all three of them. So is the level over now or is it just beginning? It'd be cool if it was like a level where I had to get two sets of star coins. I mean, it'd be tough, but it'd be a fun idea at the least. Is there anything else over here? No? Okay. So, let us go into here and see what we can find. It's another checkpoint, so maybe I was right. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, I don't want that. I wanna keep us uh, peach at. Is there anything over here? Like a second power up? Not looking like it. All right, so go into this pipe, and this will launch us upward. Maybe this is like a second airship. Oh, look at this, it's Bowser Jr. again. All right, buddy, you wanna go? Cause I'll go. Let's get up there. Oh no, that's not how we're supposed to do this, I think. Yeah, he's a weird boss fight. Cause he like, he punches the floor, he tries to break the platforms under you, but I know we could probably make this easier with P-Chat. I don't know though. Oh boy. No, I can't quite actually, surprisingly enough. Oh, that it might help? No, it didn't really change much, ow! Oh, that actually didn't hurt us. Oh, that will. Whoa, be careful. We gotta get up there quick. And then, oh, darn it, it hit us. So we've gotten two hits in. We need another one to really do away with them. Yeah, we wanna knock those off, because if not, they're gonna get rid of our platforms, which we really need. Oh, get up there, get up there. Boom, we got him. See ya, Bowser Jr. That actually went really well. Yay. All right, awesome stuff. So with that done, Bowser Jr.'s defeated, and we're falling. Oh no, where are we going? I don't know. Wait, are we not done? Hi. I mean, you still seem to think you have the upper hand. Oh no, because you literally have the upper hand. It's above us. Oh no, run! He's, he's like, no, they ran away. I've never seen them do that. Uh-oh, you broke daddy's ship. <laughs> he's gonna be mad about that one. You are gonna get punished. No TV for a week. <laughs> poor, poor Bowser Jr. All he was trying to do was, you know, defeat his dad's enemies for him. Oh gosh, and down goes the ship. Yikes, we have destroyed Bowser's entire fleet of airships at this point. Yeah, nice stuff. And whoa, what's happening now? He is not happy. I don't know, he's trying to be threatening. All right, see ya. <laughs> so we still have one last world to get through and is in the clouds of mystery. It is quite intense, isn't it? Well, as you can see, there's still plenty to celebrate though because we got all the star coins and Marangu clouds, which means we only have one more world left to get through before we say Princess Peach and that'll be handled the next episode. As you can see here, we got everything. Look at that, almost like a full sheet of stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. Only the soda jungle had a full thing. That's pretty crazy as well. All right then, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Junior so I know you've watched the end of the URA Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.